boy, my name is Earl, back with another YouTube video. Just checking in on everything with everybody on the situation with the corona, you feel me? Like, I know it's tough times right now, and it's a pandemic. Hope everybody is safe and practicing social distancing. But I'm back with you with another video trying to give you the top 10 things of staying productive while you're in quarantine, you feel me? Like, I understand everybody got to stay isolated, everybody in their own room, in their own vibe, you feel me? Like, staying in the house and what whatnot and have not. But, like, you, just because you're in the crib doesn't mean you can't be productive right now. So, here's my top 10 things of staying productive. Number one, work out. Ain't nothing wrong with working out, you feel me? Like, you can be at the crib working out, you can go outside working out, just make sure you're not, you know, surrounded by a bunch of people. If you want to be like maybe two, three people, y'all want to go work out real quick, get it in a little, get a pump, a little, a little quick sweat, you feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's great for you and kept, keeps you active, you feel me? Like, you don't want to just be in a crib, crushing all the time, you feel me? Eating like crazy, like you. You don't need that, like, I'm about to say, because if you're going to be doing that, that's going to be a bad habit. You don't want a bad habit, like, it helps you stay in shape, you feel me? Stay active, so when, when we out of the quarantine, you, you're in good shape, you feel me? But yeah, that's definitely number one. Number two, learn new skills. Learn new skills, man, like, you in the crib, you ain't got nothing else to do. You just chilling, just watching videos and not doing anything, like, just... Add some new skills to yourself, like learn how to cook. Uh, shoot, for me in particular, I'm about to learn and look at some new uh, programming languages. Like I'm a computer science major, and uh, I'm about to just work on, start doing a little projects. You feel me? Like just help build on my resume and make me a better person. Or whenever I'm ready to leave, I mean, once I eventually, you know, graduate college, I will definitely be. A better person and learning them skills and assets uh, and helping me present myself to certain companies and you know let them know that I ain't nobody to be messed with. But number three, I'll say work on making and saving money. You feel me? Like just because you at the crib, and don't mean you can't make no money. Look, you look in the forex. You feel me? Even though people try to downplay it, forex, really is a good way of, of uh, foreign trade. Is definitely a way of making money. You feel me? Like you get enough money. And it don't have to be a crazy amount, you feel me, invest in that. Or looking at investments as well, like, you feel me, like, down, just like, you feel me, like, this is the time really to invest into certain companies and whatnot, like, you feel me, like, because, uh, I'm about to say, economy ain't really doing that, ain't nobody really paying that much, for real, and anything, gas prices low, and this, that, and the third, like, I would look into certain companies and see how much a share will cost, and I would just invest into their cousin and watch my money just keep checking, keep tabs on my money and see how it grows, you feel me, increase. Also, make sure you just do your research on a certain company before you're thinking about investing on any type of properties or any company that you're looking into. Just make sure, you know, you don't want to lose that money as well. But number four, I would say play a hobby or something. Like, have a hobby, you know, like, whether you're good at writing poems or or making music, or playing video games. Me in particular, I play video games, 2K, Call of Duty, any type of video games, or look, uh, or watch watch anime or anything like that, you feel me? I, I, just, just have fun with your hobby and just, you know, do your hobby, but uh, that's definitely what I would say. Hobbies, uh, number five, I would say read a book. Read a book, y'all. Y'all don't know how much reading a book it expands your mind, expands your your intellect. You feel me? Like certain things you didn't learn, you learn so much from just reading a book. Like I'm definitely gonna start investing in and in getting more books to read, and like looking Google into certain books and just adding like the book apps and all, and just start reading it on my on my downtime. Like I ain't always gotta play video games or that. You feel me? Like when is the last time? Y'all can answer me that y'all read a book of your personal interest, you feel me? Like, it, it, it goes a long way, you feel me? Like, you learn so many things from certain type of books, like, you would, unless you try, you feel me? But number six, I would say, make sure you're eating healthy, y'all. Uh. Please, please make sure you're eating healthy. You gotta eat healthy, I'm telling you. you eat healthy, it goes a long way, like I said, because... Like the doctor said, you got the immune system. If your immune system alone is low, it's, it's, it's going to have more exposure of catching the virus than 
you eating fast food because you eating fast food all day and not really worried about your diet and your diet is just horrible. Don't be surprised. Not trying to put it on anybody, not wishing it on anybody, uh, this, that, and the third, but you just never know the way that you eat. It, it definitely doesn't help the situation that is already going on right now. You feel me? Like, you, I'd rather know I'll go to the store and buy me some vegetables, tomatoes, and lettuce, and, and cook properly, like chicken and, and whatnot. That I know I'm cooking the right and proper procedures to help build my immune system. I know that I'm safe compared to, you know, eating in the fast food. Like, you never know what could happen. Like, just because you don't know certain co-workers or any type of employees that's working in certain restaurants that you're going to get food from, you don't know if they're exposed to it because they're out and about like this. But not wishing that and saying that that's happened, but you just never know. So number seven, I would say, please, and I'm going to say this again for number seven, please make sure y'all proper hygiene, bro. Like, this right here during this whole pandemic and, uh, situation with the corona and whatnot like y'all should definitely make sure and be very 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 assertive on making sure that you are properly hygiene like ain't no way you gonna be buying all this toilet paper and paper towels and you not even buying no soap number one should be soap soap should be number one i should you should be rubbing your face going through the cracks crevice and everywhere you feel me like for your soap like with the soap no spot should be mixed with the soap. I'm about to say, because everybody's so busy grabbing hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is good for a certain point, though. Like, it breaks down your immune system, which people don't realize that. Like, if you keep using it every time, that's not good. You only use it for certain situations. Well, like, yeah, soap should have been number one. But, like, please, y'all, we out here. Everybody's seeing certain people, you feel me? Like, and I don't know if everybody's practicing social distancing. Please make sure your hygiene is proper. I say number eight. Uh, make a make a make a list on Netflix or Hulu. Like you feel me? Like, cause I know it's popping right now. Everybody's watching every binge, watching every show, or like two certain days. Like you want to watch certain category type of shows. You feel me? Like it's definitely ways of making you know making making the most of it. You feel me? Like just because you like I said you isolated alone don't mean you can't be stuck. Uh, number eight, I would say, no, 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 my bad, number nine, discover new music. Like I said, like, I mean, like, certain people, I know certain people like certain type of artists, and you never know, you might find somebody on SoundCloud, or on Spotify, or on, on, uh, Apple Music, you might, you might never know that you actually are interested. Like you saying, like, I listen to music, I love music. Like, you never know. I will make me a playlist and just find me, like, some random artists, and then I'll listen to them if I vibe with them, I vibe with them. But, yeah, that's definitely, like, number nine. But number ten, the last one, try make two. Try making a platform, like a YouTube platform. You feel me? Like, any type of social media, do TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. I'm about to say shoes. You make you some content out there if you want to. You got all the time in the world, you might as well. Shoot, ain't nobody else doing nothing, they all on YouTube, they watching everybody else that's making content, shoot, you never know. You might have some people that actually want to listen to what you got to say. Shoot, I'm making some and people are actually listening to me, like, I'm not mad about it, but I mean, shoot, it's fun, I mean, something to do, something to stay productive, but yeah, I appreciate everybody tuning in and listening to this video, please, again, I hope everybody, uh, doing okay during this pandemic and we're going to get through this and i hope everybody is doing well is keeping practicing social distancing so we can get out of here sooner but uh yeah thank y'all for tuning in more content on the way peace